Parker and Thompson here. You know, we really lucked out when it came to the local effects of Ida on our area. We're still tracking the remnant low of this uh, hurricane or what was a hurricane well earlier in the week. Now it's moving into New England. It's north of Washington right now, and it's going to take that heavy rain with it. So we're really looking good as far as rainfall goes. We're not going to see any more, much more heavy rain tonight. It's going to be some light spotty stuff. A drying trend is really ensuing. And again, if we look at our storm reports, these are the storm reports that came in via the National Weather Service over the past 24 hours. Our area really lucked out. We could have gotten it definitely a lot worse. We had a few down trees here and there. Actually had a tornado worn storm clip Giles County in our area last night. And if we zoom into the storm reports just next door, this hot spot across the I-81 corridor last night was just getting hammered with tornadic storm after tornadic storm. Several funnel clouds seen in Childress, Blacksburg, Merrimack. I've seen some from Christiansburg. The National Weather Service is out there surveying that damage today. That official report should be in sometime after 7 p.m. So I'll update you on social media and of course talk about the results of that tonight. But besides that, very near to home, most of us lucked out as far as rain goes, at least from that particular system, not that stuff we saw well earlier in the week in Hurley, but over the past 24 hours or so, we've seen anywhere from one to three inches, most of it falling over a day or so. So it didn't come down really, really hard, which helped us out. We haven't had major flooding and the flash flood watch has been dropped now for our area. That risk has shifted off to the east. Now we haven't been completely without ill effects. There's still hundreds of people without power. I was just checking AEP, McDowell, Buchanan, Wyoming counties, and those were the hardest hit even before Ida got here with those nasty storms at the beginning of the week. So if you're in that area in particular, you're still going to be dealing with closed roads, debris, standing water in some spots. Be careful everywhere too, because this wet ground it's going to make for some dense fog overnight, but you can see where the showers are really lightening up. We've got cool, dry air that's going to surge in behind the system. It's already feeling a little bit like fall out there now, and it will continue to feel like that. Look at these temperatures. Most of us in the 60s and low 70s, mainly because of the clouds and rain, but you take that northwesterly wind filling in tonight. We're talking 50s on the board, if not some upper 40s tonight a better chance of 40s even coming tomorrow. So we've got a nice light at the end of the tunnel. Well, it was a messy first half of the work week, but if we look at the week ahead or the rest of the week ahead and the weekend ahead, rather, we're actually looking cooler than normal. Again, a taste of fall, very low humidity, so it's not going to be muggy. And look at these nighttime temperatures. You're going to have to have jackets at night or when you're leaving early uh, for school or work in the morning. By the weekend, we'll start to get a little bit more humidity back. Could see some showers and storms Sunday, maybe a few more on Labor Day, but it does not look like a washout right now. Hey, stick with us. We'll be back with sports right after this break. Don't go away.